I first heard about the class at freshman orientation and I got really interested in it just by like sitting in the room and hearing what the seniors then had to say about it and then when I was in high school um, I had Miss Medicaid freshman year and she brought us to a video conference with the German students that came here um, as um, foreign exchange students for a week or two over spring break and then from that I always knew I wanted to take the class because it looked really interesting. Um, well I think CITVC was the first class I heard about at PV because that was the class that had the most hype because it was like the most well-known class of the school because it did all the programs like around the world that spoke to people from around the world so I think that's one of the main reasons why I knew about it beforehand was because of all the publicity it got before. I was really um, interested like just in the class and I was like oh this is so cool it looks so different from anything else that I've ever seen or been around in a classroom. After enrolling in Contemporary Issues through Video Conferencing, or CITVC for short, the students had high expectations for this innovative class. Um, my expectation for the CITVC class was just learning a lot about the world, learning about what's going on outside of where we are. Uh, my first impression uh, was that it was very relaxed and it was a really open class, like we could do what we wanted to do with it. Ms. Medicaid wanted to know what our opinions were and wanted um, us to explore the issues on our own and that was something we had never really had a chance to do before. When, when it's your conference, there's a stake in it for you. And, you're, and But actually sitting in the conference and conducting it and the fact that everyone enjoyed it and I was so proud of it. Like immediately after, I was like, this is it. I can do the thing. So, um, and every conference after it, I've, I've enjoyed, but nothing was really like the first one. Once in the class, students would take part in a multitude of different activities, such as field trips and team building exercises. Yeah, so we went to Chelsea Piers in New York City. It's in the Chelsea district. Um, so we, we were first told that it was a team building exercise. If we were together, we weren't able to really communicate with each other. It was more about the conference. So. This was a perfect field trip for us. There was no activity that you could do by yourself. It was all part of a team and it was little mini competitions and I had such a blast. I thought honestly that it wasn't gonna be as much fun as it was, um, but we had to work together to beat the other team and, and we were mixed with the two classes. We jumped into foam pits. We had a little relay race in that foam pit. We did um, jousting, which was such an incredible experience because it's so funny and it's like embarrassing but it was fun and we did extreme dodgeball which was great. Competition kind of brought out the best of us I think which is definitely a good thing. The main activities of this class are the video conferences from which the class derives its name. Definitely the one with Lee Iopi who was the director of the 9-11 Memorial Museum. And I think it was really memorable because he had a personal story and his son passed away in 9-11 and just to see how much it moved him. Um, my favorite video conference was talking to the um, students from Thailand in Bangkok. They were just so genuine and so sweet and so excited to talk to us and it was nice to hear kind of how our cultures are similar but different and I love like um, speaking to people from around the world and what they had to share with us. It's not like in your classes you could ever see a live surgery and you never get to do that. So I thought it was really cool to actually see it and I think it actually helps me for the future too to be able to see all those conferences. I'd say I really enjoyed speaking with um, Abdullah from Saudi Arabia. He was very um, easy to talk to and he really like changed our minds about a lot of things, about the culture and the people of Saudi Arabia and like the Middle East in general. I think with Janine Driver, the body language expert, she gave us a lot of good tips and a lot of good insight on how to interpret somebody's body language and understand, you know, where they're coming from and what they're feeling. The, probably the one I had to say had the, most, had the most impact on me had to be the Jim Brown one, just because, you know, I'm a big football guy and he's a football legend, so it meant a lot to me. The most memorable conference for me was actually the one and only one that I planned um, this year, which was, uh, her name was Esther Honig. It was about uh, body image and she sent a headshot of her face with no makeup on, um, just from the shoulders up. And she sent it to about 78 different countries and asked them to Photoshop it to um, make their portrayal of beauty and like a beautiful face, the perfect woman on her. With all of the important issues covered in class, CITVC surely has an impact on the young men and women who take the course. 
I definitely say I'm more in tune to current events because I take this class. Like there's certain things that you'd hear about on the news but you wouldn't know about as in depth had we not covered it in this class because some classes curriculums don't kind of allow for that. So I like that we have an open forum type of a curriculum and it lets us learn a lot more about current events than we would just hear from the news or social media and like for more informed. Before this class, I didn't really know like how to talk to like people around the world, you know, and be professional. Working together would have been probably the biggest impact on me. I was always in classes where independent work was really emphasized. Uh, it's really affected me to be a more open-minded person because when you see like all these different people around the world, how their life situation is not like the others, it's really fascinating. Smith always encourages us to like read newspapers and things online and to watch like the news and stuff and just to be more aware, even if you only know a little bit about certain things. As the school year comes to a close and many of the high school seniors move on to college, they will take not only the knowledge from the curriculum, but they will take away life lessons and personal skills that will impact their future endeavors as well. I'll be going to UCLA in the fall and um, from there I want to be a translator or a diplomat so this class is great for me, like seeing different viewpoints, talking to people from different places. Well, first and foremost, this class has helped me get into the Capital College Honors Program at, my Penn, at Penn State. So I was able to write about it in my essay for the application for the Honors Program. And I also, when I got interviewed, I, the only question uh, the Dean had for me was, what is CITBC? Um, so I will be attending the United States Naval Academy, so it's four years of college. Um, I have boot camp July 1st, and then after those four years, I serve in the U.S. Navy or Marine Corps for five years. And um, this class, I think, will definitely help me because I'll be traveling the world. I have a long road ahead of me, but I really think that this experience in this class has gotten me ready to talk to other people. And such a big part of getting a job nowadays is networking, and I've really learned now how to speak with other people and have a good first impression from this class. Whatever I learned in the different video conferences I'm going to take with me in college and in the future as well. 